Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day themed haul. Dolls Girl sent me a bunch of things from their Valentine's Day collection, so I couldn't pass up this offer. Everything is so pink. If you know me, you know this is my thing, so yeah. They also sent me some lingerie like pieces as well, so this is going to be interesting attempting to show those without giving the YouTube bots a fucking aneurysm, so yeah. If you want to see some cute stuff, then keep on watching. Right away, we're starting off strong with this gorgeous bright pink tube top. This one definitely has to be my favorite out of the bunch. I know it won't be everyone's favorite. My sister freaking hated it. She made fun of me. She lacks taste, so moving on. I think that it looks so cute paired with these jeans. Any light colored jeans I think complements so, so well. As for the fit, it quite literally fits me like a glove. Tops like these usually fall down on me constantly, but I was really impressed at the fact that the clasp here holds you together really, really well. I don't think I'm gonna flash anyone or anything wearing this out, so that's a win. As for where I'd wear this, I can't really picture myself wearing it anytime soon here in Canada. It's been so cold, but this is for sure the perfect summer slash spring top. So cute. I can picture having brunch in this, getting drinks in this, all while looking hot as fuck. Honestly, it almost gives me Cassie from Euphoria vibes. Don't even ask me to explain myself. If you know, you know. <laughs> I think this one here might be taking second place for most adorable. It is this gorgeous baby pink cropped tank top. The feathery neckline is my personal favorite touch. I think that it gives early 2000s Paris Hilton vibes, at least that's what I get from it. I think that it can be paired with many things. Here I'm just wearing it with these baggy jeans, but I also think it looks great with a skirt, a mini skirt. I can honestly see myself wearing this a lot come the spring and summer. I've just been very obsessed with the mini skirt and crop top combo. I think that it's so adorable and just so my style. Nothing really makes me feel cuter and sassier, honestly. <laughs> now, okay, this one is just built different. This is a bright red cropped corset top. That's just out here doing God's work, honestly. It is so, so flattering. And it snatches in all the right places, if I do say so myself. What I really like about it is the fact that the straps can be worn several different ways. You can have them out like this on the side, or you can have them both up on the shoulder like I did earlier. And as for the corset back, you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. And as for the patterning on it, it has these cute little spiral floral patterns. It almost makes the top look textured in a way but it's not overpowering. It's barely noticeable, honestly. I already know this is going to be one of my staples in my going out clothes. I'm actually considering wearing this on Valentine's Day, honestly. <laughs> you can catch me looking extra at the back of a family restaurant. <laughs> this next piece is probably the most extra rope I've ever seen in my entire life. It is so big, I can barely get it in the frame here. <laughs> it gives me a Disney princess queen vibes. They always wore those extra capes in every single movie. <laughs> and this one is definitely made for people above the height of 5'5", five five because I wish you could see the bottom. I am 5'2", and it just drags mercilessly against the ground. It is this would be such a cute cover-up for a lingerie, or even just to lounge around the house in, for sure. It honestly just makes me feel like a princess, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> this next piece also has to be one of my top contenders. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with the fluffy neckline, the same where the leg holes are. It is so, so flattering. 
and not to mention it's super super comfortable the straps are adjustable so you can choose how low or high you want the fluff it honestly just feels like you're wearing a big fluffy cloud and of course depending on where you're wearing it and for what activities you're wearing it for i'm wearing it with a strapless bra here but of course you don't have to wear anything if that's more your style this could definitely double as a Halloween costume if I'm feeling bold enough one year. But as for right now, I will simply admire its beauty from afar. This next set is so extra, but I'm literally living for it. Nothing says Valentine's Day more than lingerie with hearts on it. Much less a huge heart made out of roses. <laughs> The material is a mesh, so it's pretty breathable, I was surprised. And as for the shirt, there are three clasps you can do it up on. I have it on here on the loosest one, and even then I don't feel like it's falling down or anything. It's pretty secure. As for the top itself, I really, really like it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it even looks so gorgeous paired with a pair of jeans. Um, even obviously it looks great with this set, but I think that is pretty versatile in the sense that you could get away with wearing this to many Valentine's Day functions, parties, literally anything along the lines of that. Overall, I think it's pretty show-stopping, eye-catching. Honestly, if you want to be the most extra person in the room, this is definitely the set for you. And of course, for Valentine's Day, this would be a perfect choice if I do say so myself. This next piece is this baby pink t-shirt that says Amour, which is love in French. I seriously love it. I remember actually looking at it before I even knew what Dolls Kill was in the first place. I saw it somewhere on social media, so when I saw it, I just knew I had to have it. The material is really nice. It's not too thin, but not too thick, and it goes with a lot of things. I especially like the look with jeans. Um, these are like mid-rise and low-rise jeans, but it still covers a decent amount, which I also like. All my tops are either super cropped or too long, and this is the perfect medium. I also really like the red lettering. It kind of makes the top pop, and it goes really well with this bag that was also sent to me. It's quite literally the perfect size for a tote bag. It's not too big to the point where it's bulky, but it's also big enough to the point where you're not being frustrated flailing your bag around trying to fit your phone in it, so living for that. And as for the material, it is so, so soft and fuzzy. It honestly just complements the simplest of outfits. I can see myself wearing this a lot especially with only pink new pieces. I was a little nervous at first. I thought the pink would be too bright, but it turned out to be the perfect muted pink that just goes well with everything, so I'm super thankful for that. I was also lucky enough to get it in black and white. This one is it. My sister was so jealous when I pulled up with this. <laughs> Of course, this one is especially versatile because black and white goes with virtually everything. It's not up for debate. I think it looks especially good with this outfit. I was really feeling myself in this. <laughs> and of course, the material is the exact same as the other one. Just as soft, just as fuzzy. Literally love it so much. This next piece is this gorgeous pink pleated skirt. In the past, they sent me a purple one, but when I realized it was the same style, I was excited because it fits me so well. It covers a decent amount of my stomach, which I love, and it has the built-in shorts underneath, which is arguably the best part. And as for the length, it is a tad short, but because of the shorts, I couldn't care less, honestly. The fabric is nice and thick, like I said, along with the waistband being nice and stretchy. That's a big pet peeve I have. I hate when skirt waistbands are so tight to the point where you can't breathe. It's just, ugh, defeating the purpose of it being comfortable. 
although the color is a little bright and it's difficult to style with, I find nothing really looks great with it except for white and then other shades of pink. I still feel like it's a really cute skirt to have around. I really like it. If you are an avid watcher of my channel, you will definitely recognize this cardigan set from my last doll skill haul. I wasn't going to put it in, but when I saw there was still some stock on the website, I just had to. This has been one of my favorite pieces to date from Dollskill, and it's super pink, so this video would not be complete without an honorable mention. Trust me when I say it's worth it. This has been such a mean staple of my life for the past two months, you have no idea. <laughs> These string lights were also sent to me, and they are so so adorable. They're a combination of red, pink, purple, and white hearts. They're battery powered, so you don't have to worry about plugging them in. I don't have batteries in them right now. I honestly just like the look of them. Just dangling there. I think the color adds enough to the wall. I was thinking of putting them there with the moons, but I don't know. I think they look good where they are. And that concludes my doll skill Valentine's Day haul. I hope that you enjoyed and that you liked all the pieces. Again, as usual, everything is going to be linked down in the description, sizing, everything. Comment if you have any questions, of course, and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good rest of your week and a happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.